Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TCG Worlds 2017 where today we are going to be reviewing our last deck of worlds. Um, yesterday the new standard formats um, took place, it, it's now official, Primal Clash onwards. So this is the last deck we're going to be reviewing of the previous standard format, next week we will be reviewing a bunch of, well, two different decks from the new formats. And yeah, this deck is by Jesper Eriksen from Denmark. The he won Worlds in Seniors, and I generally think this is one of the most interesting decks to come out of Worlds. I mean, Greninja Talonflame, which we reviewed on Monday, and then Mega Dino, which we reviewed on Wednesday, were definitely very interesting. But I think this is the most out of the box deck that we saw all weekend, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing it today. So. Um, we have a 4-4-3 four, four, line of Yanmega. Now, Yanmega's Sonic Vision is the reason why it's so good. Um, if you have exactly 4 cards in your hand, all of your attacks cost nothing. And Assault Boom, which only deals 50 damage, but it deals 70 more if your opponent has a Pokemon Tool card attached. Well, if your, active po if your opponent's active Pokemon has a Pokemon Tool card attached. So. Pokemon tool cards are definitely very common, or were very common, and I expect them to continue to be. So, very, very, but um, very good attack, and especially if you manage to attack for zero energy, then it's definitely very cost effective, you know? Um, Lightning weakness, you could argue Night March, but then again, 110 HP is really easy to deal for Night March, so the weakness is kind of irrelevant. And then we have Yen Mega Break, which boosts boosts the HP of the regular Yan Mega, and you also get to deal 100 damage. Um, you don't get to apply weakness, which could be um, not ideal in some scenarios, but 100 damage for no energy is still really, really solid. And then we have a 1-1 Ariados line, which works out really nicely, because if you poison your opponent's active Pokemon, and then deal 100 damage with your Mega Break, that's 110 damage after the in-between turns poison damage. And then, if you have a Bursting Balloon attached, if they at if your opponent's Pokémon is an EX and it attacks um, Yan Mega, then it gets immediately KO'd. So that's pretty good. Um, the math works out really, really nicely. It doesn't apply to Megas, but against all the regular EX Pokémon, that's some really nice math there. And after that, we have a 4-4 Vespiquen line, which of course takes advantage of the high Pokémon count we have in this deck, and also. Um, since this is a very low energy deck, there's only 4 DCE, um, Vespiquen is very cost effective obviously, so you have that going for you. Now in terms of item cards, we have the 4 Bursting Maloon, which is a common trend with the Greninja Talonflame deck, it's no surprise that Bursting Maloon did so well, um, free damage is really really good, and punishing your opponent for um, like getting their deck to work and attacking you is really really nice and especially since the Rosic was um, not a common card to play in decks at Worlds I believe and you only get to remove like one tool and if you want to use it you have to wait over a Seeker you might not draw cards and decks were definitely running one Megaphone this deck isn't but most decks were running at least one Megaphone or m no more than one Megaphone rather so you could count on one or two bursting balloons definitely connecting. And then we have for our other special items, I guess, the special charge, which gets back two DCEs, which is really nice. One revitalizer to get back any of our grass Pokemon. And then four Ultra Ball to level ball to compressor standard like um, consistency consistency cards and then for our supporters we have four sycamore two n and two judge now judge automatically brings your hand down to four cards and in the early game it can punish your opponent as well and with the fact that you have the four ultra trouble and three potential shaman um, judge is not as hurtful in the beginning to you as it may be to your opponent and it makes you guarantee that the Omega can attack for four or for free rather and then we have one ac and one lysander so that's the deck, now let's get going into our first few games and yeah let's see how we do with this really really awesome deck. Oh boy. So 
I don't know, I'm excited to use this deck. I am definitely excited. Very, very excited. Huh. Taking a while to find an opponent. Maybe people, like I'm recording this two days before the format change. So maybe people are not so interested in playing this regular standard format anymore. And are waiting for the new format. But I would think that we should be able to find an opponent. Eventually, hopefully. Not entirely sure. There we go. So, 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 so. Let's get going here. Um, looks like my opponent is calling a flip. I didn't pay attention to what my opponent is playing. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, let's see. Oof, we got a we got a no K hand because we will be able to attack, but. And my opponent is going second. Well, if we manage to somehow top deck a stadium or top deck out of this situation, it might not be too bad. And wow, we're actually up against Superior. So that means our Ariados is going to be pretty useless. Um, we will be trading to hit KOs, I believe, which is an issue because of um, because of Superior's attack and. Oh wow, my opponent even plays Judge himself, so he might be running a Mega Break as well. But I'm generally grateful for that. I am generally grateful for that. As long as we draw out of it, which we definitely do. Um, and my opponent passes, so if we manage to find um, a Stadium and get our hand down to 4 cards, we actually should be able to... Um, should be able to guarantee our our first KO. So I'm discarding the combi and the level ball to in order to go for the shaman. Um, probably won't be needing all the like the big four four line. Um, I am keeping the compressor in order to discard a few cards that I do not want. Potentially um, the spinner act definitely the Ariados seems to be prized now let's see what else i am going to discard a sycamore and potentially a judge because well no not a judge um unless well there is a chance that we are not able to go down to four cards definitely um what else would i potentially want to discard the judge at least we have four stadiums available to us. Um, yeah, I guess I'll discard the judge so that I just so that I have access to it. And there we go. So now we bench our shaman, hoping to hit a stadium. And if we do, well, we actually need the Yamega break to get a KO. So never mind. Um, we actually don't find um, a stadium, but we do find two more shaman. Um, our first shaman is only gonna be for two cards. Only for two cards, unfortunately. Man, okay. So I might be forced to judge here. I don't think I want to... Oh, I cannot Sycamore. I definitely cannot Sycamore. And... Oh, this is horrible, guys. This is absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna waste my last shaman for a single card. I mean, if I drew the stadium, I, even then I wouldn't be able to. Well, I would have been able to. Now I get the stadium, but I do not get anything else. So I'm not gonna play it because my opponent might benefit off of it. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. So not the explosive turn one I would have liked. But yeah. Okay, my opponent simply benches and passes, and he is playing Yamega. So, I can't discard the break right now, which I think it's okay to do so. All he did was 10 damage, and now I get my Yamegas, but... Okay, if I want to KO, 1, 2, 3, wow, I can't even KO with... Ugh, I oh, know I can't, because I have the Compressor. So I'm actually gonna take my first KO, but with Vespiquen instead of... Um, instead of 
yeah, Mega Break, which is still fine. Um, I'm just gonna discard the rest of the yeah, Mega Pieces. I don't think I'll be using those. I already have two in play. And I can even attach the Bursting Balloon, although I'm not entirely sure I want to. Now, right now I could deal 50 damage, but that's not gonna be a KO. So I'd rather KO with Vespiquen. There we go. Now I do have AC for a Shaman afterwards. Now, do I attach the Assault Vest? I don't think it's worth it, because if I do attach it, um, his Gian Mega would be able to KO me. And... Serpier is not a threat to Kaomi at the moment, so I'm fine with just doing this. Um, we get a Berserker for another potential Judge or a potential Sycamore. And yeah, we'll see. We shall see. There's the Yan Mega. And he has four cards exactly, so if I had attached the first team alone, he would have. Well, if he finds a break, then I'm in trouble. I guess, but without it, um, she doesn't KO Vespiquen. But if I had the first one alone, sure, I would deal 60 damage, but then I would get KO'd back. Huh. So. Okay, there's a break. And he's gonna have the exact four cards, so he will be able to KO me. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to need my own break to counteract this situation. Definitely gonna need my own break. But thanks to a burst in my loon, I might get away with a KO or a threat in him or prevent an attack from him. So I will promote this Yan Mega. If I don't get the break, I will definitely retreat into the other Yan Mega. So I'm going to touch the Bursting Balloon there. And now, do I Sycamore, do I Judge, or do I AC, or do I end? I think the best, or the best thing to do here is definitely the Sycamore. Second place the Judge, and third place the end. And yeah, there's the break, okay. And I can get down to four cards, which is awesome. I'm going to evolve there. I'm going to read... Okay, what's the fourth card I'm going to play? I'm going to play the combi. And I'm going to play the DCE. I could also play the Bursting Balloon onto the combi, so that if he does Lysander, um, he's in a bit of an issue. Like, he would need to Lysander the other and Mega. And there we go. So... Now we really threaten him. We definitely really threaten him. Um, he attaches a muscle band, still not enough to KO me. Um, how could he deal an extra 20? Oh, oh. Okay. Looks like we might trade KOs here. Definitely looks like we might trade KOs. He's gonna be okay with the exchange, apparently. And I'm not too happy about that, but it could definitely be worse. And I am adding Pokemon to my discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Pokemon in my discard pile plus three. That means Yan Mega, or rather Vespiquen, should be able to start one hit KO in Superiors. Um, we don't draw too well off of the off of the end. Well, I guess it's okay. Um, he's probably gonna sacrifice the Yanma, I would imagine. Um, he does deal 140 damage thanks to the Muscle Band, gets KO'd back, so we trade Yan Mega Break for Yan Mega Break. I get a Null Trouble to find my next Yan Mega Break, which is great, and to get the most out of the special charge. So it looks like I'll be able to Sycamore for a clean 7 cards, which is really nice. And I know my Yan Mega Break is in the price, or er, in my deck rather, so. And I even. I even get the Vespiquen in case I miscounted and the Yan Mega Break is not there, but it is there. Perfect. So I'm actually gonna play my down my hand down to zero cards. That's really good. 
Um, we're gonna attach the bursting balloon just in case he is able to find the, the superior. And in any case, um, I'm gonna take Amar anyway, so there's no reason not to. Definitely no reason not to. And there's the Sycamore. There's our seven brand new cards. We actually get a combi. Now we only have one revitalizer. So we can either get back a Vespiquin line or we could get it back a Yan Mega line. But seeing how this is the end game, I'm actually gonna get back the Vespiquin line. Um, definitely don't want to get back this Binarak because that doesn't work against my opponent. But we can also see the fact that my opponent has a, not played a single a single Shaman. So that definitely speaks a little about my opponent's um, deck, I guess. It might mean it might not be the most competitive, but towards the end of the format, you definitely. I mean, this this makes sense, you know. It really makes sense. So, um, Vespiquin should be able to find a one hit KO against everything next turn. Um, we do have two Vespiquins. My opponent hasn't been able until now to find a to find a Servine. Um, we do have AC in our discard pile, so that's perfectly fine that he got heads. We can still KO back with the same Yan Mega even. If he for some reason chose not to not to attack this turn. Um, well, he probably won't choose to attack this turn. Uh, the Bursting Balloon will fall, but we will simply Verse Seeker. Yep, he simply passes. So, we are paralyzed. I can just Versus Seeker, the Yan Mega back. Um, not Verse Seeker, the Yan Mega. AC, the Yan Mega back. And promote Vespiquin. Play down the Yan Mega immediately. Play down the DCE on the other combi so that I have backup. And then I have exactly four cards in my hand, which is obviously great because I can barrier break 400 damage and get the Gale. Now I'm really ahead in the price exchange. I got the first price, he traded evenly, but you can see his deck has run out of steam a little bit. And we literally have two Vespiquins to take our last two prize cards. So we should be perfectly fine here in order to to win. Should be perfectly fine here. Now, I'm wondering if um, attaching the Bursting Balloon was a mistake. I did not consider the Muscle Band that he would have been able to, to one hit KO me. Definitely didn't consider the muscle band, but I don't know how much it mattered. Um, he benches an Orianma, so now he won't be able to attack. But if he didn't bench the Yanma, then he would have lost the next turn instead of in two turns. So it's, there's really no difference. Oh wow, he gets a revitalizer. Well, he will be able to d damage me then, um, which is fair, but only for 50 damage, which is no big deal. And here I'm just gonna retreat into the Vespiquin so that I have the KO. Um, I'm gonna attach the Bursting Balloon just in case. Doesn't really matter that Vespiquin will get KO'd because I do have another Vespiquin. And by attaching the Bursting Balloon, it means that if for whatever reason my opponent played two Enhanced Hammer in the next turn, I even have the possibility to use the Mega Break to get a KO if he does attack the Vespiquin because he will receive 60 damage back. So yeah, looks like my opponent is just playing it out in order to to play it out, but there's really no, there's really nothing he can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, well, that's actually 13. So I don't have the kill with Vespiquin just yet. If he somehow manages to avoid the Bursting Balloon. If he can't, then I do have the KO. If he passes um, without attacking, then I might not be able to KO. 
but I could simply Lysander the Snivy and went that way, although I don't have Lysander, so never mind. <laughs> um, there's a... There's a Servine, so a potential Paralysis flip here, which doesn't really matter. Um, he flips Tails anyways, but unless his plan was to pass... There's the Superior, another Pokémon I can't quite one-hit KO just yet. Um, he still needs still needs to go down to one card, but whatever he attacks me with, I can KO. So now it's simply a matter of time. Until we are done with this game, and we can move on to the next one. Um, I don't know, the, the good part about this deck is that your main attackers are non-EXs, so you're not trading EXs, which is really good. Um, Yes, you do have the Shaman Threat um, on your side of the field, as in they can Lysander it up to KO and get to price cards, but you can definitely play around that with the DCEs, with the AC, in order to to try and prevent that. And okay, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Pokemon. So if I discard this Vespiquen, that means 12 Pokemon plus the 20 damage from Vespiquen. That should be good here. And I could even shame in, draw a bunch of cards, and then use Sycamore. I'm just gonna do that. My opponent took his time. I'm gonna take mine. <laughs> gonna shame in. I draw. Wow, only two Pokemon. Um, I mean only one. I'm gonna touch the Bursting Balloon. And I'm going to Sycamore. Away the Ariados. And that should be more than enough. <laughs> Wait, why can't I play the Ultra Ball? Because my deck has zero cards? That's not good. I should be able to play the Ultra Ball. And yeah, just be revenge for the KO. And that's the game. So yeah, there's our last prize card, I got Mega. We had a ton of Pokemon prized, I think. And let's find our next game. I don't know, I really like the deck, like, huge props to Jesper, and if he had teammates to his teammates as well, because definitely a very creative deck, definitely a very creative deck. I mean, yeah, and grass typing was really good as well. So hopefully this is Night March, this would be really cool if this is Night March. This would be really, really cool. So we do want to go first. Um, we might not want to go first sometimes with this deck. We do Mulligan, which is unfortunate. <coughs> we do have 11 basic Pokemon. It's not something like Greninja where you only have 7. Well, we actually have 12, never mind. Okay, but I get an okay, an okay starting hand. I'm gonna bench both of these guys, I'm gonna play them anyways. Um, now, is it going to be Night March or not? Because if it is Night March and we are going second, we might be in a bit of trouble. Um, we might generally be in a bit of trouble. It is Night March, okay, so maybe going first was not the best idea. We're gonna have to sacrifice something. Um, hopefully not the combi and hopefully not the and Mega. Now we do end my opponent to take away that mulligan. Uh, we actually find a bursting balloon. So looks like the Pokemon we're gonna have to sacrifice is a and Mega. <sighs> Man. Yeah. We're gonna have to sacrifice the Yamega. Hopefully he doesn't get a really sick turn where he's also able to Lysander in order to get a KO. What? Why would he... That makes no sense. Maybe his hand off of the end was terrible, but ugh, I really wanted to showcase the Night March matchup. Which, 
was probably good for Jesper because Night March would be one of the most popular decks at Worlds, even in seniors for sure. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. So, I really wanted to showcase a Night March matchup. Why would you concede? Like, you even have your top deck, and Night March is probably one of the decks which has the most options to get out of bad positions. Now, you might be up against a Night March with Octillery instead of Shaman, based on the preview screen. That would be cool. My opponent chooses to go first. Could also be Megalaxam. Could definitely be Megalaxam simply based on his deck box and his leaves. Um, psychic typing, what lightning Pokemon could he be using? The Den, I guess. Um, Manectric Wolfet, Manectric Garbodor. Wow, <laughs> man, these hands, these hands are just killing me. <laughs> they really are just killing me. Okay. Um, we see a Mew, which is not great, because this deck has no um, Float Stone. Seems to be Night March, Octillery, Stadiums, definitely seems to be Night March. Yeah, it should be Night March, we should see some Lampets here. So it's interesting that he's using Octillery instead of Shaman, um, might be a personal choice, might be the fact that he doesn't have Shaman. I know the shamans are really, really expensive at the moment. Oh boy. Careful what you wish for, Pablo. Okay. So I'm gonna counter Stadium. Um, if I actually find a DCE here, I could KO the Mew. So I'm gonna get rid of the two Trevenants. I'm <laughs> the two Vespiquins, sorry. I'm gonna find the Yanma gonna evolve immediately and if I do find a DC or an AC an AC off of the Shaman or a DC off of the Sycamore I could get a first turn KO here which would be pretty good now the bad part is I am gonna have two Shamans in play which makes me really vulnerable to Lysander um, and nope 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 okay do I shame it once again do i attach the bursting balloon um odds are i will not be getting the dc right so uh, if i got yeah i'm gonna attach the bursting balloon there so that i can at least try to get a price card i'm gonna try my best to get the dc though one and two nope okay so seeing this um i'm just gonna judge i don't want to give my opponent a full brand new hand i'm just gonna judge here and i do find the dc okay that's great ah if, okay i mean is it worth it i think it is yeah i can't just give up two price cards so i'm gonna retreat oh crap Never mind. Oh. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, I cannot attack with the Mega. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. Okay. I might. <sighs> that was really dumb of me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna have to Sky Return. And. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna sacrifice the Yanmega. I mean, it does take seven Night Marchers to KO it, unless he wants to retreat into Joltik, but then I can um, take a KO with Shaman. Oh, that was really bad of me. I'm sorry, guys. Um, well, it was either that or sacrifice the Shaman. 
Oh wow. There's a mule. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have shaman. He doesn't have shaman. That's good. Um, I put verse seekers for sycamore. So if he find, even if he finds a compressor, he still needs. He still need. Oh, there's a night marcher. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So he does find a fighting fury belt. He does find an ultra ball. That's six night marchers. He still needs one more though. In the discard pile. He still needs one more. He only has six at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh <laughs> was that seriously his card off of the unknown? Was that seriously his card off of the unknown? No way. No freaking way. Okay. Oh boy. He even has a fire energy. Okay. Here's his night march. Get the KO. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, because he used the compressor. Never mind. So, I can only promote Shaman. I cannot get the KO now. <laughs> On to the Mew. Oh boy, this is terrible. Okay. This guy definitely doesn't have a megaphone. Okay, I'm gonna touch the Bursa Maloon there. So I might be forced. Ugh. Okay. Twice Sycamore. Yeah, I'm just gonna Sycamore. I don't want to bench another Shaman. Th those are the liability. Okay, I find Yanmas. That's. Can I get a KO here? Oh, I can. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. I can actually get a KO off of poison if the spinner act is there, which it isn't. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Why? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. gonna take the KO well not take the KO rather sky return and I'm gonna let him nah no it's not worth it I'm gonna sacrifice a Yanma if he decides to Lysander the Shaman he gets punished for it ugh this is so bad this is really really bad he just night marches, okay. Now, I mean, my plan was to Sycamore, I mean to end him, but he's not really drawing too well, is he? Oh boy, okay. Yeah, now I get Yan, uh, Yan Mega, I mean, but so what? Um, sure, I get to get over there. Um, Mew is still a really big issue because of the stadium. I'm gonna draw six brand new cards. Now I'm two prices behind. Okay. The bursting balloon is nice. Because I'm definitely gonna maybe sacrifice the Yanmega. And then um, I'm just gonna stick him over here because it looks like my opponent is really struggling. So I'm not gonna help him with a judge or a man. Both of those give him a brand new card, a brand new hand, and four extra cards. Um, I do find combis, which is nice. I even find the stadium. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna play for now. I mean, I could sacrifice the break, but I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I was about to retreat instead of attack. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm talking too much and therefore I cannot concentrate. Um, I find the spinner act so I could potentially also get back the. Get back the. Uh, get back the Ariados in order to try and poison something. Um, my opponent does find an acrobite. His deck is pretty thin. He finds a TCE and 
has the teammates. Yikes. So, no Lysander, but most likely a Megaphone. A Fighting Fury Belt. Um, that works, I guess. <laughs> In order to not lose a Mega, but did he forget the stadium? It looks like he might have forgotten the stadium. No, he simply passes. Okay. He decides to pass. Okay. That's fair. Man, I wish I could deal damage to, like, somehow <laughs> to the bench. Um, he used teammates. And then he passed. Okay. This is definitely my chance to get back into this game potentially. Um, potentially. <laughs> I'm not gonna use my revitalizer just yet. I'm gonna use the level ball though. To find Ayana. Ah, oh, I really okay. How many bursting balloons? Two. Okay. So there's still two more. Potentially. Okay. I'm actually gonna do this. Okay. To try and find the balloon. Because any turn he doesn't attack, that's really good for us. I'm gonna find a Yameka and I'm gonna find the Vespiquin. I'm gonna forego the Ariados. Ariados. Um gonna evolve there. I will evolve there. I will attach the DCE to the Vespiquin. I will Ultra Ball. I'll oh <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no take backs in PTCGO, are there? Oh gosh, I am so dumb. Ah, oh, I'm not concentrated at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having. I've had a really rough week. I've generally had a really, really rough week, emotionally speaking. So wow, I just wow. I just made the worst play possible. Okay, that verse seeker, I guess, compensates for my stupidity. <laughs> but wow, that was bad. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Oh boy. So, um, he attacks with Joltik. So here, I can take this opportunity to end my opponent or to Sycamore. I think I'd rather Sycamore, because I would love to find not only a, um, a Bursting Balloon, but also a DCE to remove the Shaman from my prize cards, but <laughs> I actually find neither. Wow. <laughs> That's my punishment for, for the previous turn. That's definitely my punishment for the previous turn. So... I can't even go down to four cards. Wow. I can't even go down to four cards. Oh boy. That Sycamore could not have been worse. It literally could not have been worse. Holy crap. And there's the Lysander. Wow. So, I'm gonna have to end my opponent down to one card and hope he whiffs in consecutive turns. I'm gonna bench the combi so that I don't draw it back. I'm just gonna end here. Doesn't really matter which and mega I use. I cannot play any card, Pablo. You cannot play any card. No bursting balloon. Um, it doesn't really matter because <laughs> I am. He is down to one prize card. Does he whiff or does he not whiff? I find that DC. Ah. Oh. Does he whiff? He also. Like he 100% uh, 
Oh, you're kidding. You are kidding me. Okay, no, he rearranges his top deck. Which is still pretty bad. <laughs> still pretty bad. Um, if only I had Lysander. Oh, or another N, potentially. But Lysander. Lysander could be my saving grace. Or even a, a bursting balloon. Okay. I have to go down to four cards though. I cannot Sycamore <laughs> because I would lose. So what does my opponent top deck? What does my opponent top deck here? I'm sorry guys, I definitely blew this game. Like I threw this game away. <laughs> There's there it is. Floatstone TCE. Ha! Oh, no stadium! What? Did we seriously just do this? Wow, this is appalling, wow, oh. even with all my misplays, wow, he probably didn't have a fourth stadium, he most likely did not have a fourth stadium, so why wouldn't you then sacrifice the pump kabu instead of the Mew, because the Mew had energy, so if he found another pump kabu and uh, the DCE he would have been able to KO, Wow, <laughs> that was definitely way closer and super bad because of how bad I played. Like I generally played really bad and I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> I really, really apologize for that guys. I really, really apologize for that. Oh boy. Okay, last game of the day. Unless it's a really quick concession. Unless it's a really, really quick concession. Probably just one last game. Pride SP with a fairy deck. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, this should be interesting. I do lose the, the coin flip, but it's not bad because you do have the potential to deal a lot of damage on turn one. Um, yeah, he does get to go first, that's fine. Not if you start double shaman though, but if you do start this hand, then you definitely have the potential to do so. Um, now, I'm just gonna click done here. I might be forced to discard the Mega Break, yeah. Max potions are an issue, so he's definitely using a uh, previous standard format deck. He's using Aromatis for sure because he's using Max Potion. Um, I do get an extra card, which is probably not the card you want to see. Um, there's no way I can one to KO the Cernias unless I get a really sick turn to attack with Vespiquen, but that's not likely. And now my opponent has Hoopa, so yeah. No chance here. Um, not even with Ariados does the math work out in our favor because it does have 130 HP. Unless he attached, uh, unless he attached a uh, Pokemon Tool card, which I really doubt he will. Oh boy, and he has Max Elixirs as well. Okay, this is going to be a really, really, really hard matchup really hard oh okay 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 <sighs> this is not gonna be pretty guys this is not going to be pretty oh wow he attached a muscle band so now I actually do have a chance to play over here now I oh come on Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna level ball. 
Ariados is prized. Or wait, no, never mind it. Yeah, Ariados is prized. Oh, damn it! When all three games, whenever it has been relevant, one piece of the puzzle of the Ariados spine has been prized. Oh, this is real. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay, now. Do I Ultra Ball Fry Shaman hoping to hit a stadium and a Yan Mega so that I at least save one Yan Mega break? I think I definitely have to do that. Because um, without the Revitalizer and without the Yan Mega breaks, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Another option is definitely finding an N or a Judge. I would prefer the Judge. <laughs> but I don't get nor the stadium, nor the nothing. Ugh, this is just absolutely terrible, guys. Absolutely terrible. I cannot begin to explain how bad this is. Oh boy. Okay. No stadium. Just not in the cards today. So, I think just going the Vespiquen route is the right way to do so. So I'm just gonna discard the rest of the things. Um, the rest of the Yan Megas. Well, I'll keep one, I guess. And. Uh, okay. And the Shaman, yeah. Well. And the combi. I'm gonna discard the Sycamore and the Omega to find a combi. Ah, oh, benching those two Omegas is now looking pretty bad. No, I wanted to take that back. Ah. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Pokemon in the discard pile. Eleven Pokemon. There's a break. It is the one that hits for ten for thirty damage. Okay, gets a on the Yan. That's fine. I need to get back to back KOs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need one more Pokemon in the discard pile in order to KO the Cernia's break. And yeah, the Yanmas are gonna cost me here. They're definitely gonna cost me. Are you serious? Are you serious? I do not draw a single Pokemon. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, now I need an Ultra Ball, along with the Vespiquen. Ten short. Ten short of the KO. I generally cannot believe this. <sighs> I generally cannot. Be I only have two Vespiquen. <laughs> and no more revive. Yeah, I cannot win this match. I most definitely cannot win this match. I'm gonna have to retreat. Into the Yanma. Wasting both of my bursting balloons. And I'm gonna pass. Ugh. <laughs> Pr 
pretty ridiculous. He lies, Anders. A shame. Okay, that's still a Pokemon. And my plan was to end anyways, I guess. Oh boy, now I need a DC though. That's another problem. My deck is so low. Okay, at least I top deck that. But I'm not gonna be able to one kill the Mega Gardevoir. <laughs> and Mega Gardevoir will definitely be able to one kill. So I'm gonna have to rely 100% on the Bursting Balloons. 100%. Okay, I'm not gonna evolve the Yanmega. <laughs> okay, if my opponent does KO the Vespiquen, he will get enough damage through the Bursting Balloon. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ariados. Um, through the Bursting Balloon, didn't wouldn't have mattered anyways. I wouldn't have been able to pull it off. Um, in order to. Um, To get KO'd. Okay, he has one. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we still have a shot here, guys. We still have a shot. We definitely still have a shot. It's not gonna be easy, but my opponent will have no energy in play after this turn, which is great. Obviously, great. Now, I'm gonna discard the. No, the Sycamore <laughs> and the Ariados. I'm gonna find my Vespiquen. There's two cards left in my deck, but I do have N and I do have Judge, so we are still okay here, I think. I will draw two prizes, and I'm not gonna attach the Bursting Balloon, because my opponent does not have a way to KO me. Uh, yeah, okay, perfect. And now we're dealing 180 damage, so we can actually potentially KO a Gardevoir, a Hoopa, and definitely Shaman. And do we have Lysander? Yeah. One verse Seeker is prized, we have one in our deck. My opponent does find the Sycamore now. But the best thing he can do is Geomancy, which I am completely fine with. Completely fine. And if he does Geomancy... <sighs> yeah, the thing is... Well, I also have a combi. Wait. What about energy? There's... My prices? Okay, no. Okay, I have the special check. Okay, I think we can still win here, guys. I generally think we can still win here. Because right now... Two things happen. Either I one-hit KO, or rather, I top deck the Verse Seeker, and I Lysander um, the Hoopa, which has the energy, or I top deck the Combi. Okay, I top deck the combi. So, I will not... Oh wow, never mind. Never mind. Is my opponent's last card N? That's the question here. If it is, I still draw two cards. So... How do I make sure that I always win off of those two cards? If I burn the AC, because I will get a prize card here, I will pick up the Shaman. I, I'm gonna play down the Shaman. No. Yes. Because I get a KO. He cannot. Yeah. Well, he could. He could find two Megaturus, but it's unlikely. So I'm gonna bench the Shaman. Well, by keeping the Shaman, I also add out. But I get a KO here. I have four cards, and then I. If he ends me down to two, I will have three out of those five. I will have three out of those five, and therefore it would be Verse Seeker, Special Charge, Vespiquen, which are cards I need. Could be the Stadium is definitely a dead card. So worst case scenario would be that my three cards were Forest of Giant Plants, Vespiquen, and Special Charge. But now that he used um, Sycamore, He's not even going to avoid the damage off of off of Vespiquen, so we have the win here. We definitely have the win here. Wow, <laughs> this was too close to too close for my liking. He gets the 60 damage back, and now 
I get to evolve use the special charge replenish my deck with exactly two special energy and then I play down the stadium and I can either Sycamore or Judge in order to draw my whole deck which includes the two disease and I win here oh boy that was, this was too close <laughs> this was definitely way too close and I was dealing 200 damage so I would have been 10 short which would have definitely been bad but yeah Versi Grand DC okay so even though I misplayed I definitely misplayed you can see I did I will say I did not practice with this deck previously so you could tell um, I made a ton of misplays but even with those misplays we were able to compensate and take a look at this we went undefeated throughout the whole video 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 <laughs> not video video and yeah that's gonna be it from me guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this world's decks reviews and starting next week purely new standard format for the time being um i don't know what decks yet i will feature if you have any ideas definitely let me know down below and i will see you guys on monday yep i will see you guys on monday